Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new Windows 11 sound recorder app. So this is a replacement for the voice recorder, which was a super basic uh, voice recording app. Uh, this one's pretty basic too, but it has some additional features, which makes it worth checking out. So I'm using a uh, Windows 11 computer in the Insider program using the dev channel. So if you're watching this right now, you're not going to have this in your retail version of Windows 11. But if you're using the Insider program, you might have it already. And if you're watching this in the future, then it might already be part of the regular Windows. So I am using the Insider Pro preview version, and here's the build I'm using. So let's compare this to what you're having if you're using the Insider program. And if you still don't see it, you could go to the Microsoft Store. And then go to your library, and then click on Get Updates and see if you could find it. You know that way and get it updated. See, it still says voice recorder, even though it's called sound recorder now in my list there. So to open it, just do a sound search for sound recorder, or even if you do voice recorder, it still brings up sound recorder. Same looking icon there. And then you have your screen here, and you just all you gotta do is just click on record. But this one's different because it'll show you the waveforms as you're going along here, and you got your timer. Then you can pause it. And one cool feature is this mark feature. Let's say I said something important right here. Market puts a little red line there, and this is important here, and also this is important here. And then when you're done, just click on stop, and you'll have it in your list here. So you can just right click on it if you want to share it. And depending on what apps you have on your computer, you could share it that way email or Windows Mail, whatever you want to do, nearby sharing if you're using it. And then also you could right click on it, open file location, and then the defaults in the uh, uh, documents under sound recordings and there's the default name and then you could also rename it so it'll rename it here and then if you go to file location it'll also rename it there as well so it's kind of cool and then you could also import files let's say you wanted to uh, work on something so I got this song here on the desktop And let's say you uh, were playing it. You wanted to uh, put some markers in there. And now when you go out and then go back into it, and then you want your song here, and then it'll still it'll keep the markers as part of the uh, file here. And so also it put a copy of it in the document. So I still have my original on the desktop and I put a copy of it on the documents with my markups and stuff. Okay, so now if we go back to our original one here, if you click on the three dots here, you have the markers. So if you want to actually go right to your markers, you could do this and then you could delete markers if like, oh, I don't want this marker after all. And that way to get rid of them. Then you also have your playback speed if you want to you know, speed it up or slow it down. And then if you go to settings, you'll have your format. So right now it's an MPEG-4 as the default, but you can make it MP3 or FLAC or WAV or WMA. And if you want to change the audio quality, it's on auto. You could put it on, you know, best, high, or medium, depending on, you know, if you care about how how big the file size is. And then, of course, like all with all the other new Windows apps, you could change the themes, you know, to if you want to do the dark theme or light theme or use the system th setting theme, which is usually light to begin with. So that's about it. So, you know, just uh, do your recording, set your markers, save your file. And then here you could change your uh, microphone if you have more than one. If it's not reading the right device, you could go in there and change it. And you have your file list here. And if you don't want something, just simply right click on it and delete it. All right. So once again, just uh, look for sound recorder. And if you don't have it, try the uh, updates from the uh, Windows Store. And if you're not using a dev or insider version right now, you're not going to get it till it comes out in the final version, which I'm not sure when that'll be. But if you're watching this in the future, you might already have it. Okay, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.